Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about importing videos into Adobe Animate. So this might be particularly useful in an instance where maybe you've animated in a program like Rough Animator or CaliPeg and you wanted to kind of create your rough animations a program like that and export it into Animate. And so what I've done here is I've created a really rough animation in Rough Animator right here. And these are just three doodles that I made for this right here. And I exported it as an H.264 and then I kind of emailed it over to myself onto this computer here. So just a one second animation right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to import this into our Animate project right here. So one thing you can see right at first right here is I have my project directory and I like to kind of try to keep things organized right here so you can see I have like my audio files in a folder, um, my turnarounds are in here, and then I made a folder called imports where I'm going to keep any movies that I'm going to import into Animate right here. And so this is just a good practice to help you out in the future. And it's really good to kind of keep your projects all in one place on your computer so that if you're trying to open them a year later or something like that, everything is where it should be and you're not losing files, right? So it's also helpful in pro professional pipelines. It's a good practice to get used to here. So I'm going to open Animate right here and we have this demo project that we've been working on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new scene right here. We kind of already have an animation here and I just want to start with a new slate. So we have a project right here and we're in scene one right here. And something we can do is we can go up to insert and then scene right there. So I'm going to insert a second scene right here. And so now you can have multiple scenes open in the same project. So I've seen one right here and I have scene two right there. And I'm just going to delete. Let's see here. All right. So I'm going to create a new layer right here. So I just press plus right there and I'll just call this movie right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to import this in. And so the best way I found to import your movies in is I'm just going to move my project over to the side a little bit and open my directory and find that file that I imported in from rough animator right here. And the first step is going to be easy. I'm just going to drop this in. A little plus sign is going to show up over here at Canvas, and then you just let it go. And so now this window is going to show up right here. And it's going to give us some options. So you can see here, where is your video file? It's on your computer. And we have a few options. So we can load an external video with playback component. We can embed an FLV or SWF file into the timeline. So this could be useful if you for some reason you're importing an SWF file in. And then remember we were exporting an H.264, right? So embed H.264 video into the timeline. And what we're going to do is, so we're going to click this third option right here. And then we're going to go to Browse. And I'm going to go to Dance Party. You remember I put it into my Imports folder. And so I'll open that. And we'll go to Next. And this all looks good to me. Let's see here. Okay, so you have the option right here to match document frames per second right here. Hopefully you will have worked in 24 frames per second in both cases. So I don't think I need to click this, but you know, there might be instances where you might need to turn that on right there. So you have a few options here in terms of symbol type. So we have embedded video. You can uh, bring it in as a movie clip or a graphic. And when we go over symbols later, that those options will, will start to make more sense down the road. But for now, embedded as a video should be fine. I'll, I'll click Next. And it's just giving us information about where the file is coming from. And OK, so I'll just click Finish. And so you can see right here, that the movie plays back right there. So I'll press return and we've got our video imported into Adobe Animate. 